And it's a race against the clock for crews in Chatsworth trying to repair a massive sinkhole brought on by the recent rains. We're told the sinkhole doubled in size overnight. There's concern the storm expected this weekend could, of course, worsen that damage. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live in Chatsworth with the latest on the repairs there. Carlos, good morning. Uh, uh, Frank, uh, good morning. Uh, yeah, and uh, the crews here this morning continuing uh, their work. This is the stretch of Iverson Road just south of the 118 freeway here in Chatsworth. Obviously, it remains closed, and the reason is obvious. You can see uh, this massive sinkhole here. Crews uh, out at work with the heavy machinery this morning, though they made significant progress overnight by removing the two vehicles that were swallowed by the sinkhole late Monday night. There's still a lot of work to do, and they say they can't do much until city engineers arrive here to give the green light so repairs can actually start before the rain uh, moves into this area in just a few days. And take a look, officials saying this stretch of road is no longer passable. It's actually caving in even more. The sinkhole has more than doubled in size since Monday night. It's about 40 feet deep and overtaking both lanes. City crews have been working around the clock to stabilize the ground before the next storm hits. But now there is concern that the unstable terrain could give way. It's deeper, it's going to keep eroding away. So what we need to do, you know, because if we're expecting new, more rains, we got to learn a way, figure out a way to divert the water around this, around the hole, so that's not filling up and creating even faster erosion. So we got to divert that water. And the sinkhole was much smaller when it was swallowed, or it, when it swallowed two vehicles during Monday night's storm. Uh, Mother and her teen daughter were trapped in a Nissan. A pickup truck fell in just moments after stacking the vehicles on top of each other. The two occupants of the pickup got out safely. It took first responders more than an hour to rescue the mom and daughter. They were taken to a nearby hospital with minor injuries. Now, of course, uh, back at her live, you can see the cleanup process. Uh, still uh, in the early stages, repairs not started yet. We are waiting for the city engineers to arrive here. They should be getting here in just a few hours to kind of give the final inspection and that green light to start the repair. So I'll send it back to you guys from Chatsworth.